guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be learning how to make the infamous, I should say infamous, because infamous implies that there's like something bad about it, the famous <laughs> everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. For those of you who are in the fitness or health or diet community, I'm sure you've heard about this product before, and for those of you who haven't, oh, what? are you waiting for? <laughs> now I understand that not everyone has a Trader Joe's around them. Um, a lot of people in the fitness little group that I follow and I'm in on Facebook, they're like, okay, I'm driving an hour to Trader Joe's. What do I need to suck up on like the quintessential like products? And everything but the bagel seasoning is always one that comes up. And for those of you who either go through it too quickly, those of you who don't have a Trader Joe's near you, you guys, it's very easy to make at home. So for me, even though I have a Trader Joe's less than five minutes away, I thought I'm going through this stuff like freaking air. Like I'm like, <laughs> I just thought I'm gonna make this shiz myself. I looked what's inside, I figured that's not that hard. And for a very similar price point, you can make it yourself and have about five times as much. Before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up and click that little subscribe button down below and uh, you'll get to see a lot more tips and tricks like this one in the future. Who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want to see this in your subscription feed? I don't even know. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be using this tiny little container to hold my future seasoning. But our ingredients list is very short. Are you ready? First we have sea salt. Sesame seeds. I like mine toasted. I got these at Costco. You traditionally would also need black sesame seeds for the exact dupe, but a sesame seed is a sesame seed in my opinion, and I'm not gonna just go buy some black ones just cause. Just me. Chopped onions, dehydrated chopped onions. Um, you can also get diced, but these were on sale. Diced is I more ideal cause they're a little bit smaller. Minced garlic, same story, different verse, but with garlic, tiny, tiny, tiny. Poppy seeds. This is optional, but I also like to add a little bit of peppercorn seasoning into my everything but the bagel. Optional, optional. I don't think pepper is actually in the traditional bagel seasoning, but we are going to put it into this one. That's just me. Now, believe it or not, all we have to do is just dump all of these together. Obviously, you can add each thing to taste. Um, I like to put double the amount of poppies that I do of everything else just because they're so tiny and it's very easy for them to get lost flavor wise. So I'm just going to put this entire two and a half ounce container of minced garlic. Okay, maybe not the entire container, but about half. Same goes for the poppy seeds. Our chopped onion. Probably could have used a bigger container. Sesame seeds, the guy who links it all together. Yep, I'm gonna need a bigger container than this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and then I got my onions in there. You know what? I'm just gonna put everything, because I like this shiz. And now I have enough room to dump everything into my container. So that was a two and a half ounce container. The, the onion was a one and seven six, so nearly as much. Got some more sesame seeds in there. Again, you can alter this to taste. Now for the sea salt, I like coarse sea salt. That's what really makes the difference, and that's what's the most similar. And I'll have a few cracks of pepper. I 
again, this is optional. This is not in the traditional seasoning. And there you have it. Now I just put my lid on and shake it up. And there you have it. Look how much I have this giant container and it only costs me about $10 worth of ingredients. And I believe the actual product is around $4 for not even a fifth or sixth of the amount. So it's a real savings over time. It takes about two seconds for deliciousness. enjoyed this video if you're going to be making this Trader Joe's everything with a bagel hack at home please give this video a like um, subscribe if you haven't already let me know how it goes send me some DMS on my Instagram which you should follow if you don't already I'll put the name right here and uh, let me know and show me like you making it at home and enjoying it with your family and your friends because I'd love to see people utilize my tips and tricks um, whenever my friends do that with me it just makes my day so please please share um, with me all of your little things that you're doing at home like subscribe share with your friends and I will see you next time on my channel bye